Good morning guys, so today is currently the next day and right now we about to get ready to go get some food. So what we plan on doing for today, um, we going ATV riding, so I'm excited. We already got our outfits ready. For something that we know we wouldn't mind getting dirty because you know, if you don't know, ATV is kind of dirty, so. Yeah, breakfast already, again. Um, let me. In here. Whose fault is it really though? Because I was up since like seven. Wonderful. He was still sleeping. I kept waking him up telling him like, Yo, know, it's eight o'clock, nine o'clock. He said, hmm, okay, and he went back to sleep. So who fault is it really? But who do I tell to get ready for this? I mean, am I not ready? Next time, set your alarm so you could wake up early for yourself. I mean, because I definitely woke yeah, you up a I'm few times. To wake and up early in your mouth. <laughs> okay. Anyways, y'all, but yeah, right now we're about to get some food. We don't know where we're gonna get food at from. Probably somewhere within like the surrounding areas again. And yeah, y'all, we're gonna see how I'm gonna get to the car. All right, y'all, so we're on the way to a restaurant called Pinky, and it's actually five minutes away from here, so yeah, yeah. Um, they Head actually... west toward Paseo de las Fuentes, then turn right onto Paseo de las Fuentes. Oh, yeah, y'all. Um, y'all, how y'all doing though? How y'all day going so far? Y'all doing good? Feel me? What y'all doing? What y'all plans looking like for the month of February? No Espanol. No Espanol. No Espanol. Right. No Espanol. No Espanol. Sorry. Oh no, Uber, no. Tiene que me ayude para un taxi. No español. Ten dólares Oh no, I don't. Sorry. Ah, pues te lo ayuda nadie. Yo, if y'all watching this and y'all Spanish, please translate what she was trying to say because yeah, we have no clue what she was trying to say. We keep yelling, no Espanol. I feel like she was asking us for $10 for, for Uber. Uber. That's probably what it was. Or like if she could give us $10 for her to call, for us to call the Uber. Oh. I think that's what it was, but. but my thing is like, after the third time we said we don't speak no Spanish. Espanol. You would think, you would think you, she get the drift, but no, she but, kept speaking in Spanish. Oh, We actually looking for, um, you know, cause like, like we said before, this is not our like back home. We like trying to be real careful where we choose to eat at, or like places that we choose to like visit. Cause you know, even though this is part of the U.S., you still gotta be careful anywhere you go. For real. Let's do a mukbang in the car. Trying to get the brunch to go. No, we just gotta eat. Unless you just want to eat in the car. No, we can sit and eat. Let's enjoy the scenery. Okay, y'all, so I just got my food. That is your sister on. Pumpkin pancakes, vlog and cheese. Yeah, this look real good. This is literally the highest the camera could go, so y'all really just gonna see us eating. But of course, I gotta take my pictures because this looks real presentable. So we had the ATV as you guys can see behind me. Um, we got here kind of late, not really late, but we got here like 10 minutes before the actual start time. But we had to get like the bandanas because you guys know for ATVs it's gonna be like pretty dirty. So yeah, yeah, we were right now. We we're just waiting till the instructor tell us what to do. And um, the ATV ride that we have is for an hour. So um, y'all yeah, gonna see the mountains, the trees, everything, nature. With us. And if you guys need help with the pictures, let me know. I can take you guys some really good ones, alright? Yes, yes. Let me you know. want to take pictures for us? Yeah. Okay, guys, so we made it to our second stop. Now we gotta see the river. Do you want to get food first? Mm -hmm. 
Do you want to yeah, eat? We could, we could just go by the river real yeah. quick. Just go. Mm -hmm. But yeah, yeah. You got a service out here? Oh, yeah. uh, I'm using it. Yeah, I don't know. Look at us enjoying nature. He was like, we could wash our face and hands right. in the river. I mean, yeah, because this is nature, bro. This is nature. Right, like, this is what we're supposed to be doing. I'm not going to do it, but, you know. <laughs> right, me neither, but, hey. That's what we could do. Right, if he was living out in the woods. I'm having fun so far. Like, I enjoy doing yeah. it. It's just that I wish I could record while I was on a, the, the ATV so y'all could see I would what's like. I wouldn't drop my phone. Nah, I wouldn't, I wouldn't drop the camera because I, I was looking at front of the, um, the ATV. And I see like I could put my camera somewhere right there and it would kind of see me a little bit. So I'm thinking if I should do it on the low. Hopefully it will see. You guys just hope you don't drop the thing. It'll be over. Woo! If it drop, it'll be chips. <laughs> I'm gonna stop and get it. Chips. I'll show you some video. Um, yeah. Yeah, yeah, you're slower. This is pina colada, yeah. I'm an island boy. Sunset island boy. How are you? Yummy. How's the iguana taste? The iguana? Yeah. <laughs> Don't scare me like that. <laughs> you scared of eating what? I think so, they ugly. <laughs> you know. It's not only scientifically proven, but just if you were just to watch them itself, iguanas are actually having cleaner meat than chicken. Yeah? yeah. No, like, I'm not like, oh, he's talking crap. No, I'm actually being for real. So they, like, they eat iguana? A iguana eats a lot cleaner than chicken. A lot of the chicken you get is they eat artificial food. Mm. Right. Scarf match my nails, y'all. Get my bag. Period. So far, like, if, I don't know if y'all can hear me, but so far, I didn't get as dirty the much. The dirt I got was literally just this. And I think some of my sneakers, but I, I don't really care about these sneakers, that's why I bought it. So, but I didn't get that dirty, but I gotta see for when we coming back. That's the, that's the real test to see if I'm gonna get as dirty as um, I expected. But yeah, y'all, we're about to dip. This is my mic. I'm gonna take some pictures before I leave. And yeah, we're gonna see y'all when we get back to the um, main entrance. I'm gonna lie, 10 out of 10, I do recommend. I'll do it again. I'll do it again. You know what I mean? I'm not gonna lie, I'm trying to do jet skis again though. Too. Yeah, I wanna do jet skis again, but like, hmm, I'm kinda scared because of the water, the waves. Yeah, I don't know. You you were scaring me. How? Because I just like when we was following the guy, uh -huh. we just kept going to the side and I was like, yo. Yeah, cause the water cool. there was splashing and like like bumping. Like yeah. making me bounce and stuff and I was scared. That's when why I was see, like, let me get out the way. So when you see the jet skis, it be you feel me doing that, but when I was up close on you, it seemed like the waves was getting worse. So Yo, these birds like, is wildin' bro! Why are these birds so loud? These niggas is drunk. My hair is starting to get messed up, y'all. But the good thing on my hairstylist, I'm gonna fix it up when I get back to the crib. Well, to the hotel. Yeah, I ain't gonna lie, y'all. I'm surprised her hair did not get messed up <laughs> last night. That's exactly why you wanted the hood down, like. You know what I'm saying? But the but, whole ride, 40 minutes? With yeah. this down? What if it starts raining? Even better. Oh, no. Yeah, we about to be out. All right, guys, so we just got some food. Because we was hungry. I just dropped my chops. Damn. Here. But yeah, yeah, I got some sushi looking real good. And then I got some dumplings. So it looks like we ain't gonna be doing no outdoor activities today. So we getting uh, He's we getting Yo. Oh, um, who told you to take my um appetizer? It's ours. Oh, I, I thought it was for both of us. Um, I don't think so. <laughs> 
First of all, do you have a wristband? Do you have a wristband? It doesn't matter if I don't have a wristband. Do you have a wristband? Mmm, <laughs> yeah, so this is our food. And it's looking real good. I totally forgot the name of this, but this is real mofongo. This looks real presentable, but I got the seafood mofongo. He got, I think, what you got again? The diced pork. The diced pork. And this is the butter for, I think, thank you. You're welcome. You let me know if everything is great. Yeah, thank you. So this is, I think, the butter for this as well. And then I got my rice and black beans, and then John got some black rice. And yeah, yeah, we're about to dig in. Okay, y'all, so right now we're at the casino. Tyron is, you know, Whoa. doing his little thug dizzle, seeing if he can win a little song. Can I get the wheel just like one time, bro? Like, <laughs> like this thing is really blowing mine right now. I mean, the most I won was like $3. But me personally, I don't. I don't know, this is just something about casinos that I don't like because I feel like it's just a waste of money. But me not playing, I feel like I could try my luck, especially on my birthday. So we're going to see if we win a little some change before we go back home. How much we put in the machine? Didn't we put like $40? No, you had you had 10 left on yours and I had 10 left on mine. Yeah, like in general, we said Oh yeah, now we're down to 13. I feel like they be trying to make you put down more. Because if you put down more, they make you win to keep coming back. I'm being real smart with my money. I'm not trying to like overspend it, especially if I know the machine's not gonna give me money. So my thing yeah. is, I have to win something first to make me even want to come back. That's what I'm saying. Like, like I've been, I've been to the casino probably like a cool seven, eight times and played and never came back with a dime in profit, bro. I, didn't I win like a hundred dollars before? Yeah. On one of the machines. Yeah, I won $100 before. That was the most I ever won in a casino, so. I walked in, alright, one time I walked in with 120 and I made 170 and I ended up, I found another machine I, I liked. It was like fun to play and I lost the $50 back and I was back down to 120 So I still you never- You baited your own self. I mean, but yeah, like. <laughs> but yeah, I mean. Okay, you got a little something. You got like five, five cents. <laughs> we got like 961 left. I've been playing this for mad long. I ain't get a spin yet. Bonus, oh, oh. Ah. We, done, we went from $40 to 8 Yo, you close. You real close. Because they keep going, you know. They was doing that when I first started. Keep going. Yeah, you almost there. That's what they want me to think. See, look. You got like, what? 50 cents? Oh. You got a dollar? 85 cents. See, look. Now you get in there. You got to keep playing. You got to keep playing. You got to keep playing. Nah, this game is playing with you, bro. This don't get this money. I'm going to another machine. You think right, if, if this one don't give it to me, I'm going to you, <laughs> If this last one don't give it to me, I'm going to another machine. <laughs> this is the last time. You said that like five times but ago. This is the time that I mean it. This is the last time. I mean, I. And you know, I'm a better dollar. We only got six left to play with. Oh. I mean, what did I say? Like, uh huh. All wheel spin? It's only one? Eight dollars. Bro, they really faded our shit, bro. Like, what? Today is the day we are leaving. We have our all of our stuff packed already and. Yeah, it's gonna be our last day in Puerto Rico. This is a crawl fit, nothing too crazy. I was gonna put on a whole sweatsuit, but I changed my mind because, you know, the weather over here is kind of not really too hot, but I don't wanna be too hot while I'm in a car waiting for our flight, so I decided to just put on the same sweater that I had on for the airport and then leggings and then my crawl feet. Yeah, yeah, we, we ready to go, sadly. I don't wanna go. We don't wanna go, but we gotta go. We gotta I don't go. wanna leave, but I gotta go right now. <laughs> <laughs> 
trusted, I may not write poems in these songs. Dedicated to you and join the movement and believe the blood in my pen. Better yet, with your friends and them. I really wanna show you all. I really wanna show you all. I ain't going to play the champagne. Come nice and then I push this man. You got to get up your girlfriends and your girl in that little baby range. I heard that she wanna go and party. She wanna go and party. Nigga don't approach her with that Atari. Nigga that ain't good game. Stay seated with your seatbelt securely fastened, all of your carry-on items properly stowed, until the aircraft is...